Okay, Happy New Year, and welcome back to We Are The Fall. I'm Gavin. And I'm Steve. And today we have a little change of pace for everyone and all our fall heads out there. And we assume that all of our fall heads have been keeping up with the fall releases that are still coming out in 2023. But we thought we would also maybe check in and give you some recommendations that Steve and I have of non-fall related songs, but that probably have some fall influences in them, most likely, and kind of check in and give you some supplemental to the fall releases that have come out this year. So this year, there have been multiple fall reissues from 90s albums to early era albums, and even it was the just recently the 40th anniversary of 1983's Perverted by Language LP. And we're going to be covering majority of those as well as the blue orchids released a new album called magpie heights which we'll also be talking about in 2024 and the the i guess we could call it a spin-off band because it contains all members of former members of the fall which is house of all and that they released a self-titled album last spring and we're also going to be covering that too but we're going to let those marinate a little bit before we jump into them because they they deserve that but not to spoil it those are all great great albums that we're going to be talking about in 2024 and we hope you join us but today we thought we would take a nice little road trip around the united states and around actually the globe and give you some of our choice cuts from 2023 so we're going to start off in our home towns currently and should you want to start steve i'm ready to go yeah i'm I'm ready to pull out of uh chicago with with a great band called uh deeper with their 2023 album careful Um, what do you what do you like about this deeper album i mean they're just a a good kind of indie post-punk band out of chicago um they (laughs) You know, it, they, they've got a good sound. Um, it's a long 13-track album, so, you know, on this road trip, you can you can either keep it rolling or you can, uh, you know, choose to, to move on. But um, It's a good way to start. And they, they've been around for a while now, you know, relatively, but especially for Chicago bands. <laughs> but, they, they, you know, they've been around, and I think that this album is a great one to start with because it does have, like, a very well-refined sound that they've now come to um having been a couple of releases in already so which which song should we i mean give I, a listen to let's let's just put the record on we'll go with number one uh build a bridge Have you been listening to them at all this year, Gavin? Their new album came out in September. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I was a big fan of the um, last album that they had, which was really, I mean, really a similar sound. But this is the first one that that's on a major label, I believe, on Sub Pop. And you can, intentional or not, you can hear the clarity and it's really fitting to the angular guitars the shimmeriness of those jagged post-punk <laughs> angular guitars it's really nice and, the, and these synths are so cool um yeah i'm a, i'm a big fan and and I'm, I'm i'm glad they're still going and because they're going in uh, a more fleshed out sound which uh, i was not surprised by but 
I, I welcome. But I also say, if you like that, go back and listen to the last full-length album too because it's a little bit more, I would say, warm-sounding and covered to the edges. But these songs are a lot more fleshed out and they have, you know, more of hooky choruses. You know, I'm heading out of Chicago. Wait, what are you what are you pulling out of pull on Austin playing me? Great 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 driving song. Great driving song. And I think yeah, d- down here in Austin, about to pull out, but not before we're gonna throw on the best album I think out of Austin this year, and maybe in in my opinion, the best Austin band, which is Being Dead. And Being Dead has been going for a handful of years now. But this is, quote unquote, their debut album that's uh, being released this year called When Horses Would Run. And but if you've been following Being Dead or if you've, you know, looked them up before, they've had a bunch of releases, an EP, a couple singles. And also, if you're in the know, they also have a side band called Zero Zero Percent APR, which is a fucking hilarious band. And it has a bunch of concept albums that I think I honestly listen to more than <laughs> the actual Being Dead album, but Being Dead albums. But so this album is really cool. So this is a three piece band and they're probably the funniest band also in Austin, if not anywhere right now and they're kind of a mixture of all sorts of artistic rock and roll sounds but it really comes down to the these vocal performances by um the two main i guess main songwriters in the band and it's and these vocal harmonies that they get going are so cool and the signature piece of being dead i think is the number of different sections of the song. And we're going to listen to a song called uh, Treeland. And this is a cool song. And so Austin is a place, you know, that's home to Willie Nelson and it's the home of Rocky Erickson and very much a psych rock, you know, home front. And there's the psych rock element in here, but it's it's a little bit different and it's a little bit more i don't know what the right word is for it but i know steve you and i are both big fans of a band from austin excuse me or a former band from austin that no longer exists unfortunately called harlem and i think if we listen to this song treeland you're going to hear a little bit of that new garage rock sound that takes it to a whole nother level And you're going to hear that in the guitars, but also in some of the melodic phrasing. So let's listen to Treeland. Harlem Django kind of musical rhythm throughout it. Doesn't it? Yeah. There's nothing that sounds like this band, which is like why I think this is maybe one of the albums of 2023 for sure is they have so much going on. It's so playful, but then if you listen to the full album, which I highly recommend, there's a lot of darkness to it that's very good. There's like songs about suburbia and the dark side of suburbia. There's songs about you know, environmentalism, but then, you know, uh, killing off things. It's really, I don't know, it's really good. And it's so diverse, the sounds. And for a a band that is very much, uh, I consider a home recording band, 
um, that is really experimental in the sounds they get. I think you heard it on that song, but the whole album has like really cool effects on the vocals, on the instrumentation, phase, phasing in and out of different songs. It's, it's really nice. And it makes you want to, like, like we do with The Fall, re-listen to it over and over again. Okay. And it has all these nugget, these hooks. I think they're so good with that. I was going to say, we did not share our list. So uh, Daydream um, by Being Dead is, is on my uh, short list of 2023 as well. So we can either roll into that, save it for later. Let, yeah, I let think the that's listeners, a... uh, let, let the listeners catch it on their own. But Let's just say... The, the whole album deserves to be listened to. There's so many nuggets. And also, because you picked Daydream, we should also recommend go on to YouTube and watch some Being Dead music videos and laugh laugh your ass off too because they are fucking hilarious. And actually, I got to tell a story real quick because it's one of the best concert. Or well, it's like I said, Being Dead is one of the funniest bands and they always have little, um, I don't want to call them gimmicks, but they're little gig-specific uh, performance <laughs> uh, pieces where they add these little um, pieces of their live performance where they'll stop the show and you know have a contest to give away a synthesizer a little keyboard and things like that but there was a South by Southwest show a, a year ago or two years ago where their their bass player couldn't make the show for some reason and and they're used to playing as a two piece, but because they're a three piece normally, they said, okay, on stage, they said, we're going to have a, a raffle and whoever wins from the audience can come up and play bass with us for, for tonight, for the whole show. And so they had a raffle and auction and then they pulled out the raffle ticket and this guy won and he went up on stage and he went up on stage and there was no bass to around. But so they just started playing and this guy just proceeded to stare out blankly into the crowd for the entirety of the performance. And they were play, they played the whole set and this guy with a thousand yard stare, blank dead eyed stare, star, stared out directly into the audience for the whole show. And that was the winner of the bass, the bass performance. And it was the fucking funniest. I was I was dying the whole time. And that's the kind of little bonus treat you get. So if you can also see Being Dead live when they're coming to your, your area, uh, go see them because they're so fucking good. I love them. Um, so th that's my Austin pick. We're rolling out of Austin. Steve's rolling out of Chicago. Steve, where are you rolling over to? I mean, are we... Are what we, are you feeling like? Are we going to... You just had some nice guitar, angular guitar. You know, Which direction are you heading? I, oh, I'm going south. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. Oh. I'm gonna get warm. You gonna get that warmth? I think so. Okay. What do you What are you feeling? What kind of sound and what kind of um, style are we going with here? You know, I, I think I'm gonna. It's not too far away. I think I'm gonna head down to Nashville. Um, okay. And I'm gonna listen to um, some Natural Child. Natural Child from Nashville, Tennessee. What can you tell us about Natural Child as far as their sound? So... Because I like this. You're going from Deeper, which is a very, you know, it's a very Chicago band, but also it it's a very, it personifies Chicago winters. It has a coldness to it, and not in a bad way, you know? It's just icy with those, those you know, shimmery guitars and those synths. Exactly. But now we're going to warm up. We're going up. to warm up. We're going to warm up. I'm going to, you know, I got a lot of other synth on here, so I'm going to warm up with a little more, you know, a little southern rock. Um, just kind of, you know, let's see what, what they say. It's uh, a careful balance of liquor and bong hits is uh, what their Wikipedia site says <laughs> about them. Um, liquor and bong yeah, hits, yeah. It does, it, I mean, yeah. I have more. I don't. I mean, I I do get. I do get that. But they give me that country twang, yeah. like that whiskey and uh, that Lone Star and whiskey twang, especially on this album, which I'm also a big fan of. This was almost making. I mean, this was basically on my list too. So I'm glad you picked this one. Is there a track that stands out to you on this one? Um, you know, I think I wanted to go with um, Mexican Adderall.
like that. That's like you're driving either into a sunrise or a sunset. Either way, you're getting warmed up. Yeah, you're, you're, you know, that's a, uh, maybe I should have saved it for later in the road trip when I needed to get a little bounce in my step, but you know, that's a tap in the steering wheel. I don't know. You might be leaving Chicago, you know, very late at night to, to dodge that traffic or early in the morning, right? That sunrise coming up, you're getting out of the town. You're getting out of the city before you get that traffic. You're, you're heading out into the country. I like this. I like the feel. The road trip started on a high note. And like I said, I think this that's a great album. That's a, that has a twang throughout the whole album, but also it's not your traditional country. And I think we're going to find that this is maybe a theme too, is like there's all these genre, genres we're throwing out there just to make it easy to talk about, but really none of these are, <laughs> that because of the context and the content of the songs, they're not the same, you know, just the same as The Fall, where... A, a country style fall song is never going to be in the realm, actual realm of country music, <laughs> ever. Is, whether it's allowed or just because of what it's doing, but this one is it's so fun. And also, wouldn't it be a great bill? Natural Child. It's pro- maybe it's probably already existed. And the Nude Party. Oh yeah, that would be a great one too. That's a that's kind of the party vibe that I, w- I would like to get the back like sitting in a you know a backyard patio looking at a barn sure <laughs> it, and you, you you hear the country song come on and you're actually excited about it versus uh versus you hear that dreading. twang yeah, yeah. exactly Zzz, that slide guitar that lap steel it's good um that's cool i love that i'm driving out i'm gonna make a long drive well any Anytime you're driving out of Texas, especially Austin or San Antonio, to get out of Texas, you're going to have a long drive either way. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to take those uppers that Mark left me, and I'm going all the way past the Mason-Dixon line. I'm going to Philadelphia. I'm going to Philly. And I'm going to go visit one of my favorite uh, guitar players right now named Emily Robb. Emily Robb with two Bs. And her album from this year was, she released an album uh, a couple years ago ago called How to Moonwalk, which is really cool, really fun. Um, But this album is called If I Am Misery, Then Give Me Affection. And this is, as all of her albums are, completely instrumental and all guitar, and all electric guitar. And so it's this blown out electric guitar that's so cool. And this this album is a little less blown out at some points, but it sounds like almost like you're listening to her rehearse, but it's just these layers of guitar that she's putting on top of each other. And I think it's easier if we just jump into listening to a song and then we can talk about it a little bit more. But let's listen to the single from this album, which is called There It Goes Again by Emily Robb. about um emily robb's 2023 album steve I, that's the first i've heard it so i'm you know i'm excited uh it's a fun um just clean cool sound that you, you can really just kind of 
go places, right? You're, you're, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're, you're going places for sure. Yeah, go far. Take, take yourself around Lay on your floor. and see how you're feeling that day, and and see, you know, if you're in misery, find some of that affection, <laughs> and maybe you'll 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 be feeling better. That's a good. This is a good album to like lay on the floor, stare at your ceiling, and put this on loud, because I kind of hope that she was doing that while she was playing this. You know, she's got that like a Les Paul guitar, and she's just got it turned up. And that's and I, like I said, this is one that she, she's kind of turned down a little bit, but you hear the layers of guitars that she's adding, and it's and actually I should say. I actually, maybe I'm, I can speak for both of us where we're not proponents of um, noodling and jamming, but if it's going to be, if this is going to be the sound, like the immediate sound of like someone jamming and riffing by themselves, I'm all for this. This is like very much uh, an immediate thing. There's no overthought thought going into this. There's no post-production it's very it's capturing uh her playing with herself <laughs> just adds it make it creates an environment immediately and th- i should say that this so she is someone that steve you will be familiar with because she she plays in the same scene i guess as one of our favorite bands from philadelphia uh former bands space okay so can you hear it yeah, kind yeah. of you can kind of hear it's guitar centric, of course, but Space In, for those of you that aren't familiar, is a great band that is, how would you describe it? Like, um, it's like blown out glam rock. It's like kind of like if Crazy Horse was more, a little bit more glam rock or New York City dirge vibe. That's Space In. And I recommend both of those albums as well, <laughs> even though those are from years ago at this point. But that's Emily Robb, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I, I, I love it. Fun. Yeah, I mean, she's not trying to impress you. She's just she's just playing the guitar, right? Um, yeah, I enjoyed yeah. it. She's got her own style, and she's got her half of it too. If you listen to the album, half of it too is she makes these drones in the background that are that are half the song, um, and I mean half the song in that it's really it's really a strong part of all of her songs is the, her ability to make a drone sound that's unique to each track. She even has one that sounds like an organ that might be a, a fake organ or guitar affected sound that sounds like an organ, but it's all cool. I say put it on and zone out, drink some coffee, stare out the window or, you know, do some creative thing or just do nothing at all. And that's a great soundtrack for it. Awesome. So, Steve, yeah. we're in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, we're up in Philly. Well, I'm we, over, I'm kind of close to you. I'm over. Yeah, I'm gonna. If feeling. you're that close, I mean, why drive two cars? I'm gonna hop in there and. Okay. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm I like gonna that. I like that. Hop in the car and uh, play another local band. Um, you may not have heard from from a while. Uh, Purling Hiss. It's been seven years since their last album, and um, let's listen to uh, their song. Uh, you're all in. You're all in my dreams. Since I jumped in the car with you, can we play another song from this I album? I think so. Called, called, called Baby?
I like uh, I like where getting the the Philadelphia guitar orchestra for us with these. I mean, how many guitars are are in there? Who knows? Who knows? A, a wall of guitars. It's always fun to think about, you know, the a place and the sound of the place, because Philadelphia definitely has this guitar riff central. If you think about, you know, even the most well known at this point right now is, um, you know, Kurt Vile, and even formally, War War on Drugs, were from there, yeah. right? And, 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 and they were all in each other's bands. So it was like a total scene, and. It's very much a guitar riffage city. It's real. It's nice. Wall of guitars. L- loving that. And Pearl and Hiss, yeah, I didn't know it was that long for them for, for, since their last release. Yeah, seven years, <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, 2016 was their last studio album. Um, yeah. I know the Mike Polizzi, who's the kind of the inspiration behind it. He's, he's had a lot of ind- independent projects and stuff like that, but, uh, yes, this is, right. uh, yeah. this is the, the latest, uh, full band release. Yeah. And he, I remember we would, we would see them open for like Ty Siegel a lot on tour when he, they come to Chicago and he's a big band. So yeah, that's cool. I love that one. I mean, because we're getting all so much riff, we're in the same car we're cruising along and i'm just thinking we're getting so many great guitar riffs right now why stop so i know you're not going to be super excited but i think you might feel like you forgot something at home we got to go back to chicago and we might have to pick up actually some more supplies because this trip is going to be extended now it's going to have to be extended. We got to go to Chicago. We got to pick up some more supplies. And while we're in Chicago, we're going to visit a little one of our favorite record labels, uh, one by the name of Drag City. And speaking of Ty Siegel, too, we're going to listen to an album produced by Ty Siegel this year, which is the Chicago band, the great Chicago band, Axis Sova. That's Axis, and then a colon, and then Sova. And this album fucking rips. I love this album. This album is so fucking cool. It, it has so many far-out sounds and sci- I don't know. It's even, It has, like, some cool 80s synths, and I don't know. I, I like everything about it. You, do you like this one? I mean, oh, you yeah. listen Ab- to this Absolutely, one. yeah. You can, you can hear a lot of Ty in it. Um, definitely, yeah. You can definitely hear him in it. And it's almost, you know, because I mean, they are their own band. Obviously, they have their own sound. But because he's so, you can tell he's so involved. He sings backup vocals. You know, he's all over it. But it's almost kind of like a collaborative album in some form. But this album is fucking cool. Like front to back, this album is really great. Let's listen to a song that's later in the track list. And this song is called "Persuasion" by Axis so-
So that's pers Persuasion by Axis Sova off their 2023 album, Blinded by Oblivion, pr produced by Ty Siegel. So in, in Deeper, especially on that Deeper song we listened to, there's a lot of the sound of 80s rock, uh, the cars, especially in that song. But this is, you know, this is another Chicago band using some similar, I'm not, very loosely similar sounds to go into a total different place, which is, you know, it has the car's influence, of course, but it doesn't really matter because it's just taking off. It's just going further out there. Yeah. That album is great. <laughs> Yeah. You're just going to say that about all of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are the greatest hits of 2023, so these are the it does make hits. sense. I mean, and, you know, you dragged me back to Chicago, and I couldn't get out of town without um, saying oh, hi. Oh, there's to more supplies. More supplies. I also, unfortunately, um, not unfortunately, very fortunately, got to uh, spend some time with my <laughs> kids. You got to see yes. them again. So, yes. you know, um, our favorite album of 2023 in our house um, is Mr. Greg and Cass McCombs. Mr. Greg um, and Cass McCombs. They put out a uh, new folk songs for children. Um, let's uh, listen to uh, Little Wilma Wiggly Worm. All you uh, liberal parents, you know, introduce your s songs, your kids to these songs. They, <laughs> do you have to be liberal? You yeah, get... yeah, you do. They sing, <laughs> they sing about Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and oh yeah, you do. You they do. sing about uh, what else? Because if your kid, if your kid's conservative, to she's gonna, they will be pissed off. If they hear that. Yeah, there's a, <laughs> there's another one about Harvey Milk. Um, so yeah, it, it does help to be liberal. Well, you'll get the references. I don't think you need to be... The kids won't care. The kids will like it. It's just that uh, if Grandpa comes over, he might be crabby about it. Yeah, he's not going to put that on. <laughs> so who is Mr. Greg? I'm not familiar with... I obviously know Cass McCombs is a, one of our nation's greatest guitar players. <laughs> but what... But do you know of Mr. Greg? Does he have any background? So, to... yeah, Mr. Greg, um, I was reading about him a little bit. I believe he is a preschool teacher out of Los Angeles. Let me see. Yeah, or not. Sorry, out of... Uh... Well, that would make sense. Cass McCombs is based, I believe, out of California. I know he's a wandering guy, but I think he is based out of California. And this is on Smithsonian Folkways Records. So it's always fun to see the kids. I mean, I got to say, I would listen to the rest of that album, and I can't say that for uh, fucking Trolls 2. <laughs> I've listened to that album. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure you have. I'm, I'm just saying, this, this, that, has a great, that has a great little... Uh, I was going to say, it's, to it's, it. it's, uh, it's, it's uh, your most tolerable children's uh, album of the year for sure. Yeah, that's that's, that's little true. little bonus, bonus track. might not be in your top ten, but uh, give it a go if you, you got the kiddos around. What is the job song, J-O-B? It's about jobs. What kind of job do you want? Oh, what kind of job do you want? Yeah, it's about different jobs. Oh, that's not very liberal. <laughs> Uh, I'm Scientist. Just I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Everyone needs a job and should have a job. And <laughs> I like that. That I mean, that's great for the car ride. You know, mom, that's great dad, for the, the kiddos trip. are all happy. McCas McCombs, man, he in in my book, he can do no wrong. You know, he's always going to be interesting with Cass. 
in the mix. So where are we now? We're, we're in Chicago. Yeah, we're in Chicago still. And I think we're going to take a little saunter over to Michigan. And we're going to get through Indiana. We're going to get over to Michigan as quickly as possible. And what we're going to... And what we're going to do here is we're going to listen to this band that I've only recently found out about. And they're called XV. And I got to be honest, I don't know that much about this band. But I do know they're based in Michigan somewhere. And they have this album released this year called On the Creek Beds, On the Thrones. And this is a very cool but pretty far out there art rock album and these songs though are so this kind of is would be a great one-two punch with being dead because the content the lyrics of these songs are of, of a bunch of them are very existential but they're also very funny so it has the perfect balance almost like a good you know, Coen Brothers movie is dark, but it has the levity there. And I had a real, I, I had a struggle to pick a song for us to listen to from this one, but okay, let me just tell you a couple of these song titles just so you get the idea. One of them is called Funky Economy, and it's basically the lead singer is, is singing, I want to live in a funky economy, which I think that I think we all agree that that would be great if we could do that. Another one is called Pen, and that's all about she's looking to find a pen so she could write something down, and it's really good too. And there's another song called Fruit, which is naming all these fruits and mostly fruits that this person doesn't like. And all these songs are really good. <laughs> I, I think you just listen to it. Just listen to it. But yeah. let's listen to a song called... Oh, man, it's so hard to choose one of these. I'm going to say, let's listen to a song called Tasmanian Angels. All right, and how am I, uh, I going to locate this band? How do you uh, spell that? Yes, is great, that... great. So it's XV is the name of the band, but if you go to the XV band camp, or, or if you are Steve and you are on this um podcast right now you can go in that chat and click on the link that i sent you That's good. You get it, right? I get it. Uh, so what do you think about XV? Or 15, you know, it's 15. XV, oh, 15. Sure. XV, Tasmanian Angels, yeah. I mean, they they seem like they're having a good time. Looks like it's yeah. two two women, Emily and Claire, just, just making music, having fun together. It, it, oh, is three it, of them, sure. Yeah, th Shall I was about to. Oh, I was about to say. I thought in one of the photos I saw there was three. Um, there was three people in there, and that this is it has a a, a shag, uh, the shags vibe, which is very di DIY and recorded. But it sounds really good. It sounds really awesome, and the con the content of the songs really just. It does it for me. And also, it has a bunch of changes in percussion and um, rhythm section, which is 
fun. I like that. I think I'm going to put that on for a... Uh, I'm going to guess we're somewhere in the middle of Michigan. And it could, yeah, they, they was recorded in Ypsilanti, which is in between Ann Arbor and Detroit. Yeah, so since we're so close to Detroit, I'm just going to do a, a quick shout-out to one of my other picks for this best of the 2023, which is Proto-Martyr. And Proto-Martyr is, I think they get more, I, would, I want to spend more time on bands that are under-recognized, but Proto-Martyr, if they have an album that comes out, you can guarantee it's going to be on my list because they are one of the mainstay American bands right now, as far as I'm concerned, as far as best live band, recording band, uh, a band that's, a, I, I, honestly, they have so much influence from the fall, but they're doing their own thing that they're th- a three-piece instrumentation-wise, they're three-piece bands, and then they have a lead singer that doesn't play any instruments, that's just spewing really beautiful poetry in an aggressive way like Marky e. Smith a lot of the times. And they fill up so much sound with just these three dudes. And and the drummer is one of my favorite drummers. So I just got to shout out Proto Martyrs 2023 album. Formal Growth in the Desert. Yeah, thank you. Formal Growth in the Desert. We chose to forget. Definitely listen to it. Their album last year was one of my album's top, top, top albums of the year. Ultimate success today. I just just while we're in the area, I just want to give them a shout out. You know, well, maybe we'll stop by for a crack open a, a pint, a, a lager with them in, in honor of old Mark while we're in the area. We're just chilling in Michigan. What do you feel? What are you feeling? I mean, do you want to head Where north? Where do you want to head? Do you want to head north? Do you want to get into yeah. Canada? Do you have any, any yes. favorite Canadian bands? I mean, I think, you know, before we set up, we, we go and trend set across the globe. We got to stop in New York for a couple, but I think oh. maybe we... Uh, well, we're so close to the border in Michigan. We are. Do we just we're jump right over? Do a hop? I think, I think we'd hop over the border and... Um, okay. Let's hop we, over. And we, we find out... Uh, where we're going to go um <laughs> i know that's a good question i know it's somewhere it's somewhere over there is it in saskatchewan is it in i i think uh i well oh it's close it's close to you know windsor so you know let's let's go over to i'm pretty sure it is in montreal yeah, we're gonna go to Montreal. Um, let's you know. go to Montreal, and we're. Gonna I've never li- been to Montreal, so let's go. I have not. Uh, you know, I heard they've got a big, uh, a big uh, like meat scene out there. You can get some good cooked <laughs> meat. meat scene. Yeah, get a lot of good cooked meats. I watched <laughs> a lot of cooking shows. Um, and but, I know that they got good music as far as this one act is concerned. Yeah, this one. <laughs> <laughs> this one act, um, it is going to be uh, La Securite. Stay Safe is the is the album. If you're Gavin, you can also check the chat and you will see it there. This is not the band I was thinking you were picking. No, well, I switched it <laughs> no, up No, you went over. Okay, okay. I like that. Montreal, Quebec. You know, the, we're going to get a lot of angry uh, French Canadians and French people. I did hear, and... I did hear from people that have been there that... that that they will get very angry at you. <laughs> oh, absolutely! Don't even try. If you can't do it right, okay. don't do it. Don't do it. Right. So we were not. We will not be doing a "We Are the Fall" live show in in Montreal unless we are invited by the Prime Minister of uh, Montreal. Um, this is great album art. It's really cool looking. I have not listened to this band. I've not heard of this band. Which song do you want to listen to, Steve? So What's yeah, it is song? off their "Stay Safe" album. Um, Let's listen to uh, Security. Yeah. Let's listen to their song Serpent.
can pick the longest song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can. That's that's. It's you a know. long car ride. It's a long car point. ride. We got. We're all the way in yeah. Canada. Yeah. I thought you were gonna pick Hot Topic because it has got an explicit warning, explicit advisory. This this is good. I like the. I like where this is going. Dang, that's a good. Dancy groove. Fancy groove. You know, I did pick the long one. There's definitely some faster ones out there. No, I like that one, but that one, in, I mean, I have not listened to this band. I mean, I've not heard this band, but this band reminds me a lot of a Montreal band that I saw at South by Southwest of a couple years ago, ago called Pottery. They have a very similar... Dancy grew. They they don't they sing they sing in English, and I like that they're singing in French in this. Yeah, they switch it up throughout the album. They are. They, do they a switch bit it up. Both. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna listen. To, I like to listen. We were talking about with Philadelphia, a uh, the a place really sets the tone of. We're looking at somehow, pottery. Yeah, and listen to that and tell me that doesn't have a, um, mm. the band pottery have, a same type of feel as far as. The rhythm section. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. La, La Security is is new. You know, this is their debut album, so I'm not sure. Maybe they there's some cross. Nope, looks like it's all boys in that in pottery. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But it really just says that that there's a there, there's a there's a sound to the place and Montreal. You know, it's got a French vibe to it, and I don't know much about Montreal, but. There's got to be some sort of dance element to disco <laughs> uh, feel to, you know, living in that type of environment, that type of climate, disco tech. It also sounds a little bit like, uh, who's that uh, British, there's two British women that put out an album last year. Um, I'll think ABBA? about it. What's that? ABBA. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, ABBA. <laughs> yeah, ABBA. Um, is it, that's that's two Scandinavian women and two Scandinavian men. What is that band? Um, <laughs> you'll know it when I say it. Um, um, oh yeah, Wet Leg. Wet Leg. There you go. No, I like this. I like this song. And since we're up here in the, you know, Great Northern White Lights, I think we got to stay up here for a minute. And go over and visit one of my other favorite Canadian bands ever. And this band is called Timber Tambor. Or Timber Tambre. But probably Timber Tambor. And this band has not released an album. And I should I'm saying band because when they perform live. They are such a fucking great live band, but really it is the pretty much the passion project of the main lead singer. Taylor Kirk. Taylor Kirk, thank you. Um, Taylor Kirk's project. And I was really worried for a long time because they put out a, he put out this album in 2017 and they and then kind of went off the <laughs> off the radar well yeah i mean and even before that it was 2014 so like if you love them you're just like oh That's boy true. i hope it doesn't i hope this isn't and gone. then 2000 and then 2011 and then 20 2008 and then 2000 yeah he was he's been getting further and further apart which Okay, so it's just a pattern to get used to because he is so good. He is like, he is. And I mean, really, I, I think really when they came good. came through for their their last one, they they made a couple stops in Chicago, and I definitely saw them each time they were there, even though it was just a couple months apart. But yeah, I highly suggest you track them down if you ever get the privilege. Yeah, and and now he does have a rotating band. Uh, I mean, he has some of the same musicians that he's had off and on, but in a fall <laughs> uh, dynamic, but he does, 
go with, he does have really, really, really top notch musicians playing these songs because these songs are so good. So he, his last album was in 2017 called Sincerely Future Pollution, which was, I'd give it easily 10 pints. 10 pints out of 10 pints. And this year he released this, I just feel like it's a surprise album called Lovage. And this album is, for anyone not familiar with this band, he started out with singing mostly, generally, dark ballads in the folk sense of almost like Lead Belly. Very dark ballads that are folk ballads that are dark and have to do with murder and darkness. And he he hasn't strayed from the the content of those types of writing mechanisms hopefully not real <laughs> but he has uh ventured far far out there as far as the production and he's so good at the production and making these songs sound like i don't know like ethereal full band uh with you know horns and synths and darkness they're really they're crazy good. And yeah, it's definitely a nighttime band. You want to listen to this yes. deep into the into the evening hours and Yeah, you do. And also nighttime and also I say outside too band, right? Yeah. Outside and also maybe headphones. Yeah. Headphone I, band. I was gonna say campfire, headphones, yeah. Some somewhere where Campfire, you, yeah. You can get a little bit uh what it let it uh, absorb into you. Do you want to see a dead body? Don't you want to see a dead body? Ask the community. The community. Do you want to see a dead body? Don't you want to see a dead body? Ask the community. The community. About the what about the the album cover the lovage album cover what do you think about this situ this setting for listening to this type of yeah like uh what is it a nest camera up in your ceiling is the, you're sitting in your, <laughs> your airbnb it, it does look like kind of that. a fisheye camera looking down on you yeah <laughs> it's a hidden camera in your airbnb as you're writing songs with by one candle single candle He's shirtless, sitting in the corner. It's a really cool album cover. I do, I do not have this album yet, which I, I will be I will be picking up very very soon. But, um, yeah, it's a great co album cover. It's really it's really <laughs> it's really fitting for the songs. But there should be more people. Like it should be like a party, and he's like shirtless in the corner <laughs> in this in this condominium project. So how are we feeling, Steve? Driving through Toronto, Canada, listening to Timber Tamber, Lovage album. I could be. I could continue driving straight into the ocean, listening to that. <laughs> it is always a, a pleasant ride. Um, how smooth is that voice? Yeah, he. You, you just you just get lost for sure. I'm looking forward to the next one because I think he's going someplace that's even more, you know, it, he's, he hasn't reached his, his pinnacle yet. Like, okay, Taylor Kirk, I enjoyed seeing you in Austin and I hope you continue onward. Don't feel rushed, you know, take your time. You're, you're, you're doing it the right way, take your time. Um, you know, release those little, you know, nuggets when you want to. Yeah, get that get keep that baritone voice nice and lubricated and and shirred up because you know you gotta keep using that. 
So we're going right on out of Toronto. Picked up a little stash for the drive. Yeah, it's Canada. And everything's legal there. Everything's legal except for uh, book prices. It's exponentially <laughs> taxed. <laughs> what Let's, do you feel like? I, we'll stay in Canada. We'll we'll finish off. What? Okay. Okay. One more. One more. Okay. One more Canadian. Are we, are we not allowed to go back? We are. We yeah. Yeah. No. no you want to? You you want to? You know, something. my visa is only good for. A couple of days, so we got to get it all out in one. We're just underage dudes going across to buy some beers, and we're just like, all right, might as well just pick up some tunes as well. If you if you like what you're hearing, we got a couple extra choice cuts, and we might be going far out. We might be going across uh, international waters for our next cuts. But in order to do that, can I go over, jump on Patreon, and while it's still free, just get, join us on Patreon so you can get all of those. Get into the international sounds that we're, we're about to explore with you and uh, find us on Patreon, become a member. We, you know, we get super stoked to see people interested and, and, and following us. So you know, it, it drives us forward. We'll keep you know, trying to be as creative as possible to put something new and exciting out for you so yeah and send us some chats we've been talking we've been chatting with uh with a bunch of y'all and you guys been giving us some good ideas about what to tackle uh and what to look for as far as upcoming episodes and we've been taking it down duly noted so join us on there otherwise I was say uh, you you really don't want to miss Australia. That's Gavin's uh, <laughs> most favorite musicians. All if you come guys are, from Australia. If you, <laughs> if you guys are if you guys are thinking we're not going to Australia on this road trip, you're sadly mistaken because half my list is Australia us Australian bands. So join us over there. But until then, we are the fall. We are the best. 